Okay, guys. Here we have the Vespa GTS 300. And then the new fender that was supposed to be installed. Today we'll go here somewhere a bit. What I want to show you is that here we have the markings from the dirt from the tire. From here you can see all the paint has been missing. Way. And you see all the paint has been uh, I don't know, matted down, is that in this part? Here is smooth and uh, shiny, and here is very matte, so it's you lose the clear coat. Yeah, you understand. Road dirt from the tire. And this is a little disturbing. Solution. It's the Stuck Company has made this nice fender. And together, it comes with a plastic bag with the drill bit and some acid-proof screws. You can see the color is almost the same as well. Like this. But uh, first, I need to put some blocks. Uh, water, wheel, and let's Well, I would say it's splashing a lot. Wow, look at this. Big pump of water. Okay, then let's wash the fender with this. This was clean before, but it's still, still some dirt, always dirt. Okay, better. Say so it's okay. Oh, water everywhere. Done. It's the big question. I think we only get the one shot, so tape sticks it will stick I think let's just see how this works okay more time well I have to take a chance Manage. Okay. Then one shot only. <laughs> oh my God! Okay. First try, try. Not too bad. Let's see how it is on the other side. Help. 
bit of this water. Yeah, I think it looks the same. Yeah. I think that was a good dry eye. Oh. Okay. Now a plastic bag. With uh, a drill bit and four uh, acid proof screws. I can test them with a the magnet. They will not stick to the magnet, so this is acid proof. But of course, they are way too long, so I think it's a good idea to cut them. Oh, I think maybe half of the length will do. Yeah, I will cut them in the half of the length. I cut the screws twice to be sure, and this is what I ended up with. Let me show you. And it still sticks out one or two millimeters, so this is more than long enough. So let's do them all. And here we go, all four. Okay, not too tight because you can strip the plastic. Let's see if I can fit that one. Yes, coming through. Excellent. Yes, that should do the trick. Then on the other side. Again, we need to remove some uh, this brace, whatever it's called, and again the water. Oh. Yep, going through about one or two millimeters. And this one as well. Excellent. Job done. Let's test the water, shall we? Oh, <laughs> I'm excited to see. Is this splashing now? Let's see if I can see that out here. Okay, let's go. Well, it still hits this part, but you save this one. Maybe it should be a little longer, but uh, okay. That's it, guys. That's the Schluck uh, Mudguard for the Vespa GTS. I think it uh, looks nice and will protect at least this part from the elements. Even though this one will still need to be looked after and maybe paint some, even now and then. This always looks from the inside. You can see there is an edge, and I guess there will be a lot of dirt on this edge. Here you also can see the screws. They are just barely coming out. So here it will be a good idea, I think, to make some uh, silicone or some 
other greasy stuff, sticky stuff to seal the, the lip. Yeah. But again, looks good. Yeah. But um, after all, I'm happy with it so far. So let's test it outside, shall we? Thanks for watching, guys.